In this lecture, I'm going to tell you how we can render element conditionally with the help of ng if directive in Angular. In the previous lecture, I displayed list of posts with the help of ng for directive. And if I check our postlist.component.ts file, we have this post array and each of our post has a key called is picture true or false. Now I'm going to display a text inside this postlist.component.html file with the condition using ng if directive. So I will add a div here and I will add a text feature and this text will be show whenever is feature is equal to is equal to true for the post. So I am going to add the condition with the help of ng if directive. So this post dot is feature is equal to is equal to true then this feature text will be displayed. Now if I check the URL you see we have this feature text for the first post because for the first post this is feature is equal to is equal to true for the second and third post this feature is equal to false that's why there is no feature text for the third and second post okay now I'm going to tell you how we can use multiple condition inside ng if directive if you want to add another condition you can add this here with and operator you can add another condition here also you can add odd operator these are your ng if directive you can add another condition suppose you want to check if post dot is featured sorry post dot category is equal to is equal to sports then you want to add this feature text okay now if I refresh the URL you see for the first post we have this feature text and for the okay I think there is category called sports there right so let's use sports because I want to check our war operator is working or not yeah for the last post and for the first post we have this feature text because I added another condition to our ng if directive okay so let's remove it now i'm going to tell you how we can use binding in our ng if so if we want to use ng if to binding then what we need to do we need to use ng template here and then we need to use ng if surrounded by third bracket then this will work you see there is no changes now if we want to use else block then how we can use else block so for that what we need to do we need to add else sorry we are using binding right for binding what we need to do we need to use ng if else then we need to mention the else block so let's say not feature block okay and then what we need to do we need to add another ng template here and then we need to mention the identifier for the template or block and then let's say not feature a P A T U R E. Okay, fine. Now let's refresh the URL. You see, for the feature post, we have this feature text, and for the not feature post, we have this not feature text. So we successfully used ng if else with binding. Okay, but I'm not going to use ng if else with binding. If you want, you can use this binding for ng if okay so I'm going to use div and I'm going to add ng if and I'll display the feature text if 
this picture value is true for the post and I'm going to add not feature text for the not feature post okay so I'm going to add else block here and I need to mention the else block identifier and then what I need to do I need to create one template with identifier hash not feature block and let's add a text not feature okay and let's check the url now you see we have this feature text for feature post not feature text for not feature post so this is how we can use ng if directive in angular so i'm not going to display any text for not feature post so let's add comment here okay so that's good for ng if directive in the next lecture i'm going to tell you how we can render element conditionally with the help of switch case in angular so stay connected